today, Qingming, we are going to introduce the media server and the R5. Do you have set up R5 in your laptop? And okay, first we need the PPT. Um, this media server is our new product we just released yesterday, very new, new media, media server. And we can see we have two chassis. One is for you, another is to you. For you chassis, to you chassis. Let's go on. This is C4000 series media server. And we can see the input and output configuration. Input, the blue is input. We can see here, it's a port to capture card, SDI, DVI, uh, SDI. And SDI support 2K and 4K, 2K and 4K uh, signal. And here we have general in out and the monitor. DVI or HDMI monitor and three USB ports, one audio output and two NAND ports. Um, see the output, the blue ear is output. Here we have DVI 16 DVI divided into four ports, one port for DVI output. Um, may I speak more slowly? Okay, go on. Um, two power supply and two fans. Um, for the C thousand, we have three times. The input is the same. The difference is the output. It divides into three types output. DVI, DP, and HDMI. You can see this type, 16 DVI, uh, one DVI port, so support load 2K by 1K, maximum 8K by 2K, uh, 16K by 2K, sorry. Next is DP output. In DP, we have four DP output. One DP is DP 1.2. Here, DP 1.2. And one DP output support 4K by 2K. Maximum is 16K by 2K. Uh, finally, is the HDMI output. HDMI, four HDMI, one port, one DVI. And this DVI is, uh, HDMI is 2.0. One DVI, one HDMI output support 4K by 2K. Uh, seeing as the DP output maximum 16K by 2K, very large resolution output. So it may use in the very big resolution and pixels LED display. Next is the C2000. C2000 is the same as C4000. C2000, two U chassis, um, the chassis, the size is smaller than the C4000. Uh, we can see here, uh, the input we have, the input we have three USB, one lamp and one audio. And the output, two DVI, four DP 1.2 output. DP 1.2 support 4K by 2K. For DP graphic card output and to capture card lock. Uh, we, next, we are introduced the media server uh, feature. The feature one, support NDI capture. So the NDI is a app lab. We can capture the any signal in the 
your desktop or your laptop if you open MDI apps. Video capture uh, support video. We have many DVI inputs, so we can capture the video, SDI video, and network shots. Uh, we can input a website and it will show the website video. And besides, we can support IP camera. The IP, IP camera capture, you know, well, the IP, IP camera can use the NAND cable connect to the uh, computer when you open the Afi or another media, uh, another media software, and we can capture the IP of the jazz. We will introduce introduce this part later uh, when we open our file. Control measure. We have three way control measures. One, use the mouse and keyboard uh, commonly control. Two, iPad control. Use the iPad, do the setting and choose the switching uh, con to control. Next is Central control. The central control uh, we will introduce later. Guys, if you have some questions, please send message to us. Our college and engineer will reply you immediately. Um, next, we are going to introduce R5. R5 is very uh, popular this day, so many customers may have download R5. So you can open R5 now if you have in your laptop. Open R5. Okay, for the R5 the input source, we support many input source. The folder, video, audio, picture, OSD, mask, PPT, NDI, Capture card, about network shots. Uh, this part we will introduce uh, very specific uh, when uh, later and virtual screen. Support a very big uh, screen resolution, 16K by 2K. You can see 16K by 2K very big, very large. If you have this project, please contact us. Thank you. Okay. No loss output. And support multi things and multi layer. So the R5, uh, we know the R5, no things and no layer limited. Oh, you, can, you can put and choose any layers and things you need. And things loop playback. We can, uh, like this, we have three things. Things one, two, three. And this one can switch to things two. Or things two switch to things three. And things three can switch to things one. Two, two, three. Three to one. Um, we will show you later. And fade in, fade out. When we do things, things switching, like things one to things two, we can uh, use fade in, fade out effect. We choose a suitable fade in, fade out time to make your switching more wonderful. So you can see the switching effect. Okay, so in the switching is fade in, fade out smoothly. No, we do it for our PPT. Fade in, fade out. Next, we are going to preview output. So we have introduced before, we have introduced before the 
C1000 and C2000 have um, DVI or HDMI monitor output, so we can connect a monitor to preview and check the output information in real time. If the uh, control room and screen is too far, far from a long distance, so we can in, we can connect a monitor and check and preview the output information in the control room and mm, the output is di displayed to the screen. Next is schedule. Schedule. Um, so when the project is in is for the advertisement or another, like uh, I want to play the advertisement in tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. But uh, we can set the schedule today. Like I have set the time and the things one or things two. It will display, it will play back automatically in tomorrow, the time I have set. So it is very convenient, very convenient, and it's useful that when we are using this function to do it pre, to do it predict a project. A real time monitor hardware information. The hardware information like CPU, GPU, and the CPU and GPU temperature. The CPU usage, usage memory usage, GPU usage, and the CPU and GPU temperature, we can read time monitoring. Next, um, when we playing a big resolution material, we can see the GPU usage is very large, very large, and the computer or laptop, if you grow a uh, jamming or stop or turn, or turn off, uh, is very, um, how to say, is horrible. But if you, you're using R5, uh, you would never, uh, it will never happen because R5 had hard code. What the hard code mean? It means when we open the hard code, the CPU usage will transfer to GPU usage, release more CPU space. So we can see this, uh, we can see this form. The, the white is CPU usage and the blue is after we turn, we turn on the hard code. The CPU usage before is 18.5. After turn on the uh, hard code, the CPU usage is 28. I have relit, have relit more rooms, more space to make the program more smoothly and no jamming. CPU you can see um, before the CPU is 21, after the CPU is 15.3. Next is HDR. So do you know what's the HDR? HDR is a very new idea now and uh, for our new or small phone, cell phone, we can see the camera carried HDR function. When we take a picture, the picture look like very beautiful and the color is brighter. So this is the HDR. HDR can, uh, can change the color brightness automatically. And we can see this photo is uh, it's sunny day, but we can see not very bright and a uh, very a little dark. When we open HDR, we can see the effect. Oh wow, the, the sky is more blue, and the 
house have the sunlight, like the sunlight. Uh, we can see the light, the sunlight of reflect in the house more clear, more clear, bright need and vivid. So the HDR may use more and more popular in some project. Um, sometimes, or generally, we use the HDR function. It may require our material, the video or the picture is HDR uh, format, and um, the processor sending card, rec rec um, receiver card, also need support required HDR function. But if you're using R5, the R5 can support HDR without processor, sending card and receiver card support HDR. It only, only need the material is HDR material. So you, you so using R5 is more convenient to open HDR function, achieve the HDR effect. Next is image cutout. So the image cutout it may a little too a little difficult to understand. The image cutout is here we can see this is a very long, very long. Uh, picture and screen, and we can uh, we may use many we may use many standing car to load this uh, screen, but if we use image cut out, we can cut out uh, divide into many part and combine again combine again like this one. Okay, uh, like this one we cut. One, two, three, cut three, three part, cut three part and combine it into another shape. Another shape, one, two, three. And now we and now we use the sending car. We may use only two sending car or one sending car. It's um, to save more sending car and some more sending car setting. So we will introduce this part with R5 would choose green later. Next is HDR, a 3D display. The 3D also the new idea nowadays. There are many 3D display in the cinema and some uh, technolo te technology uh, situation. And also R5 can support 3D effects. Um, if you are interested in 3D display, please contact us. We will show you more details. Okay, let's see some cases. Okay, the case is now we use the C4000 media server and use the Affine. Uh, if I can give the input source to the C4000 media server and connect to uh, connect for 4K sending card. So this is the uh, converter, DP to DP or HDMI to DVI converter and load a big LED screen, big LED screen. If you are interested in this part or this case, please contact us and we will show you more details and give you more solutions. Next, we are going to introduce our five. Okay, open the R5. R5. R5 media server, R5. So have you download R5? We have some basic operation about R5.
should go on to the office. Here video about how to hello um, everyone now I will you introduce the, the you use the of R5 for you. The first chapter is about R5 registration. After the software successfully installed in your computer, we double click to open the software. Now here, help, the menu help, click. You can see a re register here. Click. Oh, we can download R5 in our website. Download R5 in our website. And this is our website, sunwmagnimage.com. <laughs> and find out download. Find out download and we can you can see find out download and here you can find out the R5 create R5 and add download and here we have two it uh two version version for Max and version for videos and choose if your laptop is Max and choose Mac if your laptop is video system choose video of Windows and have R5 brief and R5 update descriptions and uh, user manual. There will be a box coming out. And uh, this one is your uh, machine code for every computer. There will be a unique machine code displayed here and we need a web link to register the website is this yeah. um, we paste before you using our file uh, we recommend you a uh, register register our file uh, if you do not register or uh, if you show our logo on the on the output so the register here um come to the help help menu find out the register here will be a machine code and you copy the machine code click the register link and uh, fill fill out the form the register form we copy the website and we open a web browser and paste the, the website here and here this is the image r5 self-registration form machine code is uh, very important you just uh, paste your computer machine code in this form and your name, your email address, and then most importantly is the cell phone number. Cell phone number must be attached with your international area code. For example, for China, the international area code is 86. And uh, following your phone number. For example, now this is mine. Name, mine is, my name is Rina. And uh, I'm just showing you an example of filling out the form. Okay, most importantly is the cell phone number.
should be with uh, your international area code. Machine code, cell phone number. And after the form is filled, click Submit. And within five minutes, there will be a short message sent to your phone. The short message, there will be a serial number. Put the serial number in the register code area and click register. Then the software can be registered successfully. Okay. Now we go to output creation. The software in the middle is the stage. stage. Here, output. output. We need to use the computer extended mode. The primary output is the, your PC. Your PC interface. And output one is the extended, is the extended output. We drag the output one. Primary output is your desktop, so don't use primary output, but you need to use output one because it's the extended output. Drag the output one to the stage, to the stage. And you will see the output image will be uh, our software logo and here is the stage we can change the stage area you see we support 4k 2k our area support 4k 2k is customized we support 2 2k 2 4k 2k now i'm using 1920 by 1090 so i can change it you can choose not to change it, but to better check, have a better friendly interface, I can change it. <clears throat> then output created. Then we go to signal. We can put a folder, video, picture, OSD, lot of uh, source here. For example, if we like to put a video here, right click add video you can add uh, different videos add a video okay not a video edit we can also add the picture picture Okay. Also, you find it the image output drag uh, source to the stage. Double click, it will be full screen. Click play, it will be playing. We support the number of layer is the. There's no lim limit on the number of layers. If your computer is good enough, you have more layers. That depends on your uh, computer quality. See. Also, we support the PPT. Support the PPT. Just right click and to add the PPT. Uh, for example, PPD file. Takes uh, some time to load. Okay, PPT, drag to the area. PPT, we can page up and page down, page up and page down. We support a lot of things. 
just drag to the same area. Fade in and fade out, switch between different scenes. Now we continue with R5 introduction about layer setting, layer edit. And this is the, my output error. I can drag the source to the output error, double click. The layer size, we can change layer size here, layer size. I can put PIP in my output area, PIP. The size of a layer we can change. Select the layer first, and then this is the coordinate, the position, zero, zero. And this is the size, for example, like this. I can put more layers here. Position, size. Use my mouse to change the size. And you can see it will be attached to the frame because we have auto tile function on the right. And uh, we can do many other things. For example, I drag one more layer in the middle. We can change the layer parameters many more more function and uh, clip you see the clip clip and fill this is the function such as zoom 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 function if we don't select uh, fill we will see it's cut it's cropped layer cropped also we have uh, adjustment about RGB, a very accurate color setting, RGB, RGB change, also brightness, brightness control, contrast, saturation, opacity. We support feathering as well, feathering. Feathering means the layer frame dissolve to to make it more smooth, feathering. We support mirror function as well, mirror. Vertically, horizontally. Also, shape. We support any angle, any degree of rotation. Now we can accurately set the degrees it rotates. We can customize shape of the layer. Watch my steps. Make a frame circle like this shape. Layer property, we can make the layers change. Okay. This is chapter four about scene setting. As you know, we can use mouse to manually switch different scenes. But in some circumstances, we need a very uh, special application, for example, for a fixed installation, maybe the customer they want it from scene one, play finish, then to scene two, and to scene four, and just like this, automatically switch one by one, and back to the first one. So we have a, a mode called zero scene and zero scene cycle. In this way, we can achieve that application. Now I close this on, and you see, scene one finished automatically to scene two, and to scene three, no need 
value new operate then to sync 4 when sync 4 is finished it will back to the first and just like this to play and uh, we have a lot of mode is about uh, mage kv for some uh, especially for some rental events we need a mage kv that means when we play the other scenes the other scenes is over it will to the mage kv and play the mage kv and then we can here set set mage kv so here there's an icon called mage kv here to achieve Major KV will lead to close the other scenes. The loop, the circle, they should be off. And now scene four, finish it, will go to scene three because we have a major KV scene three. Okay, scene three. And for example, if we play scene one, when scene one is finished, it also go to scene scene three. So this is about magic heavy, and we have uh, a lot of mode about uh, scene escape. Now, if I want, I was playing scene one. If scene one is finished, I wanted to escape to scene three without scene two and scene three to scene four without uh, playing scene two and scene three. And here I can set property escape escape to scene 4 okay here you can see scene 4 when scene 1 finish it go to scene 4 so this is about scene jump uh, chapter 5 about uh, loop playback and list play now I make a uh, uh, a few layers we have four layers for example in one scene in scene one now this and this turn on this play and look play turn on and they play the first one you can see when the first one finish it, it will to the second layer and play. The first disappeared. When the second is over, it will go to the third one and play. It's all uh, automatically play and uh, to the fourth one. The fourth one is finish it, it will back to the first one. Yes, so this is about list and loop playback this function is mainly for uh, one layer switch automatic switch in one thing one thing you you have many different layers if you want to only play one layer one at a time so you can use this function to uh, achieve loop playback Chapter 6 is about a uh, uh, playtime crop. You know, you see, every video has a, a playtime. Now, this one is 3 minutes and 2 seconds. And for picture, the default playtime in R5 software is 10 minutes. We can all change the playtime. Uh, for example, this one, probably. This one, the property begin, for example, begins from two minutes, end uh, two minutes and ten seconds, and save. You see, it play only ten minutes from the first two to the two and ten seconds. Yeah. And uh, the picture, the picture time we can also change. Picture time here, property, 10 minutes, 
10 seconds okay just uh, play 10 seconds so this is called playtime crop playtime crop Also, we can use a uh, shift, the quick button, to change the time. Uh, okay, guys. Um, the video will show more clearly about the R five operation. If you have question, please contact us. We will send the video or another video operating video to you uh, you can you can uh, write down your email or your uh, facebook id and we can contact you later we open the r5 and introduce more special function the r5 here we can see the input source in the r5 interface First, R5 interface, the R5, R5, and some setting menu, and the save, a new project, save project, open project here, and the undo, redo it quickly, sort tab button, and output signal means input, and the central here is the layers and output uh, display here, and here, in the signal setting, the signal position and resolution setting, and okay. Uh, here, the scene setting here. And the right hand is some another setting, some another setting. So the video we have show you how to um, do some basic code operation. Later, uh, now we are introduced some special function. First, we can see the input. Here we support folder, video, audio, picture, OSD, mask, PPT, MDI, capture card, about network video, and virtual screen. First, the folder, we can add, we can add a folder. Uh, we can add a folder. Okay. And here we can check the folder information and yeah, see the picture. And we also can open like this one and plug the folder, plug folder, plug the folder to the folder here. So this is the folder two. Also, can use here add video file list to add in Google add find out. Let me find it. Find out the folder you want to add. Add video. We can add any format video in Google Here we can see the video format. Video format. Okay, here we can see the video format. Mm, AVI. AD, AVI and JPG M, MV4 and so on. And the picture, audio, uh, audience, the same as the video. Many formats can support and picture the thing as the video and audio picture support many formats like JPG, JPEG, and J PNG, BMP, OSD. Let's see OSD. 
uh, app OSD. It will different. It will different with the video audio. It will turn to the OSD setting menu, setting interface. Here we can check the font, the size, and the color, and the word uh, displayed. Uh, the left, the right, and the central, and the color background, the wife and height, and the scroll type. No scroll. We can choose from left to right or to, from right to left, and the scroll speed. And okay, plug into the layer layer here and here the layer you can see this is the upper one so can you see the monitor all right one more again and here we can see the osd we have at welcome and the osd color background color and the word size and we can move the layer to adjust the OSD position. And welcome, I want to add a central ear so I can set the position. The signal too, we can set the position. Okay, okay like this, this is the central ear. The central ear and here the scene we add we press payback if we have choose the scroll it will scroll from left to right or right to left also you can set the scroll direction you want next is mask mask is like a a similar like the image cop. So it's cop the background cop, background shape shape. But it different to image cop. Or we can add a mask to show you how's the effect. And here amongst is Magnimich logo. And this is the layer uh, layer one. We can see the layer one is a picture and we add a mask. We can see add, add layer, add mask as layer two to the layer one. Um, layer one. And we can see now it only show the Magnimich logo and the Magnimich logo background is layer one. It's layer one. It's layer one, layer one. This, this layer background. Mm -hmm. background. So if we want to do some special, special effect I like I want to show uh, I want to show I want to show a special effect like uh, my logo and I want the special background I, I can use the max function to do do it it's, sim it's similar like image call but different mm, next is PPT in the video we can see we support PPT. PPT we support Microsoft Wear PowerPoint and WPS. Add PPT. <clears throat> A little slowly. Add PPT and we can use the button in in the keyboard the page up page down to choose the ppt page also we can use the page turner uh, to choose 
page up, page down, which page is the uh, unique to display? Uh, okay, here. Add a PPT. This the PPT is we introduced uh, introduce before in media server. And we can see the PPT information and we can use the page up, page down button. Page up, page down button to choose which pages we need. Next is MDI. MDI is a uh, applet. If we set up MDI, we can capture the laptop desk, desktop in a uh, signal. Okay, open MDI. Okay. The MDI, the MDI, we can capture any signal in the laptop desktop. The thing is, the MDI capture card also can capture any signal uh, we need. The capture and the capture card uh, for the M4K we support two. Capture, capture card. One capture card support uh, four inputs. Four input. The maximum is eight input source. It's about continue. Is about we can receive a signal as the input source. Also, we can send out the output at preview. At preview, we can check and preview the output information like the monitor. On, uh, if you are interested in about, we can introduce we can introduce to you later the network video. Network video we can put in a website to network video. Network network video. Here mean we can rename the we the network source will easy to find out like uh, this one and um, and write down a link URL link please pay attention the website should be done with HTTP odd odd RS TP, as TP, to uh, to format to beginning the website beginning is these two two forms, and we can add a website. And copy this one. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. And here you can see it will show link arrow because, because the website beginning is HTTPS. HTTPS are mm, fine, cannot support. And we can add HTTP or RTSP, RTSP, these two website formats. And another, we can add, we can, uh, we can export the IP camera, the IP, IP camera we have introduced in the PPT. We support IP camera capture and we will show you. Wait.
Okay, now we show you how to uh, capture IP camera. We have one IP camera. This is the IP camera. IP camera. And we use the main cable. A main cable connect to the laptop main port. Laptop main port. Um, give a give the IP camera a power supply. And here, R U L R U L. Are you able we need um, um, our engineers guide you tell you the uh, working principle and how to operate it. Okay, first of all, you need to know uh, the IT of your. Uh, okay. okay, if you want to use the IP camera for the input, uh, you need to know the name of the camera and the password of the camera and the IP of the camera. So, so uh, now, now I use the IP camera. And, and then you can see you can chat. chat. The IP is uh, uh, 192.168.1.1. Uh, and then you can search on, on the internet. internet. One night. one. Okay, this is the website of the HI division. Okay, and the name. And the password. IP, IP camera, name and password. And you will check the information of the camera. You will see the six sign information. Okay. Number. Okay, maybe this website is not Chinese, but uh, you can see what need to know. Okay, and then you will see all the information you need. And to the R5, just connect the LAN ports to your computer. And here, this one, the network video, okay? And you need to, okay, I delete it, delete all. I will try again for you. Yeah, we will try again. And this is the format. Format. R T S P. And the name. And the password. And add. The IP, IP address, and the final one is the port five five four. Okay, the five five four is the information you can see uh, on the website, and then search. Okay, here you see, you can search the video of the camera now, and when you play it. You can see 
much. Yeah. If you just like a thin note, you can use the app camera. That's it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sky. Let's go on another, like a virtual screen. Hi guys, if you have question about the IP camera um, capture, please contact us. You can send message in the message here. Uh, our engineer and college will contact you later. So the IP camera is more used for the some like the police station and the traffic traffic station. Next is a virtual screen. Virtual screen. Uh, as we have introduced the image cut out, so we use the virtual screen to do the image cut out. We have a video to show you how to use a virtual screen later. If you are interested, we will show you the video. Yeah, so we are going to a system setting. The system, system, uh, system setting, here we can see the left, left hand side one displayed performer information. In not the, the performer, performer is the laptop, your laptop information. Like here we can see the CPU usage and me memory usage, and GPU usage, and the CPU and, tem and GPU temperature. So this we have introduced before in the PPT. We can monitor the laptop working interface, working data interface. And if something wrong, we can track here. And we can see now the GPU is, uh, the GPU is 20. If we play a 4K for more big resolution information, the CPU usage may be nearly full. And the video play will be more very slowly or jamming. Uh, what should we do if we meet this problem? We can mm, open the hard decode. Here, start hard decode. Uh, click. And we can see the GPU information. The GPU information. The CPU usage could transfer to the GPU to transfer to the GPU automatically. Next is HDR. HDR function we have introduced in the PPT. HDR will make the picture, the video, the video more brighter and colorful. We wait in more acceptable to our eyes and we are uh, our eyes more um, easy and more easy and more popular for this function. And show best quality, middle quality, picture frame and the light drops. Depend on the com the computer configuration. If your configuration is the better, you can choose more um, best quality of the output. The layer opacity. We can choose one to uh, zero to one hundred. You can see the effect now is 10. 10 is slight, very slight. Um, 100 is better. And the camera size, camera, this is camera. The dark one here, that one is the cover size. We can change the cover size like this. 
Okay, so we can see the canvas size has changed. If you don't like the 80 by 2K, you can change any canvas size you like. And the top output, turn on, turn off, turn on. Uh, we can see the difference. When we turn on the top output, the output, output view on the top, if you play like the PPT, if you open a PPT in your laptop or open a video in your laptop, it will it will not show on the top. Only R5 output show on the top. And next is the scale lock. Open this function, scale lock. We can see if I want to change this layer size. It, it will in in a scene ratio in a in a gate in a things gate if you turn off this function not in a things gate <clears throat> and we also can preview the scene switching when we do the scene switching, like right? scene one. And here in our left corner, here we we'll, uh, preview output. We can preview and check output information if it is okay. Control if R5. it's okay, uh, sometimes take, in the event take to program output. Oh, sorry. And take to program output. Uh, take to program output, our preview is stuck. We can see that our preview is stuck. We can open alternate exchange, alternate exchange function, and take again. And we can see the we can see the preview, the Hi, program fan. output will switch to preview. The preview output will switch to the program. So this is the alternate exchange button use. And fade in, fade out time. We can choose switching fade in, fade out time. Make the switching more wonderful. Okay, this is the system setting information. If you have some question or some problem about the system setting, please contact us. Next, we are introduced the slave, master and slave. Master and slave, it means we can do the R5 backup, seeing as the processor, DVI output, DVI 1A and DVI 1B is backup. And R5 backup, we can use two laptop or the set up R5 and open R5 um, at the same time. And we can use the NAND cable, connect two laptop and split into the same local network. Uh, if we use one, Laptop, it will be in single mode. If we use backup and master and slave, we can open server mode. Here will be a listen IP. Uh, please enter the IP address as the laptop, this laptop, this laptop, and then open listen. Two laptop will synchronously in your in time three time and if this laptop book up or <clears throat> power loss another laptop r5 will go on the output and signal will not stop or loss but the background is for double insurance Find um continue. We are introduce the 
external device control. External device control, we support many external devices like MIDI keyboard, OSD, and keyboard, common keyboard, and the Amnet, Amnet, and about and about output and keyboard ESK keyboard uh, control H A H A H C event controller control. Uh, we open the ESK keyboard. Turn on. I uh, use the ESK keyboard insert to the laptop. This laptop. Okay. Um, ESK keyboard turn on and the binding turn on turn on the binding we can see here the thing here turn to blue it means it mean we can binding the thing here to our ESK keyboard for example thing one the thing one, I press the thing one and press the button one. And we can see here, it will show the key one. It means the thing one we have binding to the ESK keyboard one. And thing two, and binding to the two. And here it will show the key two. And here, Pause. We can binding to three. Binding to three. Oh, sorry. Binding to the four. And the stop. We can binding to the five. Is the binding ear that we can binding any button to the ESK keyboard buttons. Now the thing one we have binding to the keyboard one and the thing two we have binding to the keyboard two and the pause and stop binding to the keyboard button four and five. And if now I want to uh, switch it, uh, thing one, we can press the, press the ESK keyboard one how to use H8 control R5. Uh, sometimes in the event we may have so many devices mm -hmm. and just many see the video? Shows, but we can use R5 to do many settings and save uh, use the H8 some input source R5. and some, some, save some time uh, to do the oh, performance. Here mix and external device control. Uh, we set the R5 and the HA in a thin IP address. And here we can see the as thin add device and thin. The here are some settings we have done in R5. So the some uh, thin setting we have done before. And we can use here add the command, add the command and the command. Switch the command to switch the thin. Okay, so which one? Hi, friend. Two. Now we will show you how to, to use, use H8 HA control R5. R5. It's uh, sometimes quickly when and we may have so many devices achieve and source that we can use R5 to do. Okay. Okay, quickly. Have you seen the video? Can we play the video again? Hi, Fan. Now we will show you how to use H8 Control R5. Uh, sometimes in the event we may have so many devices and many input sources. But we can use R5 to do many settings and save uh, some input source and some, some, save some time 
uh, to do the performance. Here, mix an external device control. Uh, we set the R5 and the HA in a thin IP address. And here we can see the as thing at the device and thing. The here are some settings we have done in R5. So the some uh, thing setting we have done before. And we can uh, add the command, add the command and the command. Switch the command to switch the thing. Okay, switch one. So use HA control R5 is quickly and easy to achieve some setting. Okay. Okay, quickly. Okay. So do you understand use HA or H6 control R5? Yeah, it's very easy. The thing at the keyboard control or the control expect the OSD, OSD uh, Arcnet or the control is R5 is the thing. And we will, in, we will welcome Mr. Sky to introduce how to use RSNet control R5. I'm going to show you how to use the RNet to control the R5. It's only uh, one of the ways to control R5. You can compare with other devices. Maybe it's uh, just like a keyboard just now, or the, any other command. Okay. Now, I uh, already set three presets. Okay, it means three. Sync two and three. And also the same as the ES control, ES control way. Okay, and then here's ArtNet, turn on, and we need to find the tools here. It's the ArtNet console, open it. Okay, you will see this list. And what you need to do is to connect the code. Okay, you see that this is the one, one, zero. So, uh, universe means zero and the subnet is one. So before this, you need to uh, fill the IP address. You can use this two. Okay, IP configure. So you can see the IP address is uh, 192.168.133.235. So you can feel the adjust here. Okay, and zero and one. Okay, compare with this. And you can connect. Okay, means the green means connect. Okay, if you change another one and connect again. It's the wrong one. Okay. After connection and to the console, okay, this one can close it. And this one and banding. For example, this one is scene one 
uh, I, need, I want to connect to the one. Okay. And the uh, thing two. Two. Uh, three. Three. And uh, stop. Four. And uh, post. Five. Okay. Uh, you can have many button, many tries. Okay. You can bend in any key to any function in the blue area and then turn off. And now you can see this thing one and thing three and post. Pray okay. and uh, stop and one, two, three. Okay, uh, it, it is just a way to bend in the key to uh, some tools, just like the uh, art nets. Okay, this is only one of the ways to control. If you have another way, just the same. Maybe it's uh, some kind of keyboard or other device. Maybe it belong to one of them. Okay, mini keyboard or OSE command or the Arnet. You can choose one of them. Uh, and then just the same way. Open, turn on, and then bend after bending and uh, turn off and control is the order. Okay, and this is the function of ArtNet control. And uh, other, other function very, very interesting, maybe just the, uh, okay. Yes, thank you, Mr. Sky. Uh, if you are interested in outside, we will share you the video link and you can review the video and find out more interesting parts you you are interested in and um, thank you thank you for today's coming to listen our chimney um, let's please share your questions uh, we will answer the question hi guys if you have question please uh, share your question question here and we will reply you now. Um, okay, if you do not have question, we will uh, finish today's uh, training and we will have more training following months. Please follow up our Facebook or our company website. We will tell you the schedule. Um, hi guys, uh, have a good day and thank you for your support. See you next time. See you next time.